Oops. Wow. Fantastic. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. That's the trailer you've just seen there. And it's all about Oppenheimer since the past one week because everybody's been talking about it along with another movie which we're going to be talking about here today. Mm -hmm. Welcome. It's movie just for a fun Friday here with the ladies and I. <laughs> so, have you guys seen Oppenheimer? First of all, let me <laughs> talk about the trailer which we've just seen. Yeah. Fantastic. I think the trailers are actually mm. your best foot forward. Yeah. And I love it when... I love Christopher Nolan trailers. Mm. I love Christopher Nolan movies, but Christopher Nolan trailers are actually... I, I'll see the trailer and forget about the movie. <laughs> but if you guys have seen Oppenheimer like I have, mm. what did you guys think? What were you expecting from before? Mm. And what did you guys get? So for me, anything with Christ Christopher Nolan mm -hmm. on it is already a hit. Mm -hmm. um, now, there's some people that have, you know, this uh, controversial view that his movies sort of sound the same and have the same flow, mm -hmm. um, especially since he did quite a few Batman movies. Mm -hmm. um, but you hear and feel the energy, especially with the type of music he goes mm -hmm. for um, with his film. Yeah, his scores. Who, who did the score so, for this um, That was uh, Ludwig Göransson. Okay. And yes, it's obviously the same person that scored mm -hmm. one of the Batman films. I think it's mm -hmm. the one with, um, mm -hmm. with uh, Heath Ledger. I can't remember. Was that Batman uh, Begins or um, what was that no, one? No, no, no. That's not Batman Begins. What, that one? what um, was that one? I can't remember the, the uh, title now. I'm, I'm sure I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get help. The Dark, Dark Knight, Knight Rises. Yeah. Exactly. So I felt that energy, which made me stay glued to the trailer. So, hey, I can't wait mm. to see what the rest of the movie is going to be about. So now this is what I have to say, right? So when it comes to, I mean, Batman is literally, a, it's, it's not fiction. It is. Mm? It is sorry, it's fiction. It's fiction. And she then meant this fiction, I meant to say fiction, and then this is literally based on... Off of a true story. True story. First of all, these are my kind of movies, yes. based off true um, stories. So now I love the fact that they literally brought those elements of fiction into non-fiction mm -hmm. and made it, left it real, at the same time made it really, really compelling and really, really attractive. Mm -hmm. I totally love it. I love the story about the whole bomb thing. Mm -hmm. And I think the lead act did a very great job with his expressions. I love how he actually went from like a natural number guy from character. Guy Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders, <laughs> exactly. Uh, Cillian like Murphy. Cillian Murphy, yes. Literally the intensity, right, with everything that was happening, I think he embodied the emotion. Oppenheimer himself. I'm telling you. So the movie was Oppenheimer. It was about Oppenheimer. Mm -hmm. And even with Oppen everything happening around, they were able to focus on the lead character in his person and with everything he was doing. I love that. Like his, his expressions were not too much. And yes, the cast, mm. everybody, everybody was in it. Listen. Yeah. But I love, that's what the, that fact, <laughs> no, it wasn't overplayed. It wasn't I exactly. I mean, we literally it had, yeah. we had um, Iron Man in No matter yeah. how uh, big, we're talking about Robert yeah. Downey Jr., no matter how big Brandon of a Alec. name you were, yeah. your, your, your part were, was your was part. Your Don't part. overdo it. They didn't, they didn't, Everybody was in there. Wow. Robert Downey Jr., Emily Blunt, um, Emily Blunt, Emily Blunt oh. Remy Malek oh. was there. Oh. I mean, Beautiful. you could see that he was not in your face. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was a very, yes. I liked it. Um, Christopher Nolan and Timelines, um, not uh, not timelines now. Yeah, timelines because mm -hmm. it's a story being told after events, yeah. and they're going back into the past to you know uh, um, investigate and stuff like that. It was great. Everybody was in there. However, I saw it um, not because I was looking for anything extraordinary from okay. Christopher Nolan. Okay. It was simply just the story. Yeah. It was mm -hmm. the art of telling a true life story, true life story. by Christopher Nolan. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. So it's different. There's also a you, you have to also note that it's um, it's supposed to be an IMAX 70 millimeter movie. Oh, so you might okay. not be getting the full dose if you yes. don't see if you it don't see it on IMAX. Yes, mm. most people will not see it on IMAX. I saw it. Okay, yeah. so let's move on to. This. <laughs> <laughs> but but <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I wanted to, oh okay but before we do I wanted to say Cillian Murphy. Mm -hmm. Um, was also a bad guy in a Batman movie. So yeah. it kind of twisted. It was yes, twisted for me. Yes, true, true, I didn't true, know true. what to think. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, if it's a Second World War movie, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to watch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I only just came off of seeing Wes Anderson's, uh, um, um, what's it called? Um, Something City. I uh, can't remember. His new movie, yeah. in any case. The which picturesque I one, yeah. Very picturesque one. It was, it was, it was sightgasmic, let me Is put it Is that what down. we're talking about now? Can you get yeah, back? I'm just, no, no, no. Back There's another back and track. track. Because... <laughs> for these two movies, you're not yeah. seeing it for the story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're seeing it for the art. Yeah. Is where I'm going. Oh, okay. Picturesque is well, the word. Well, I mean, Oppenheimer is for the story. 
as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks mm -hmm. good though. No, that's, what, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. That's what I love the most about it. Normally, we're used to based on true life. I've watched a number of them, and it's just left flat. Just tell the story the way it is. Okay. But then again, the fact that they put that fictional element just yeah. really takes it to another level and makes you want to even know more about the story. It does. All right. So it's moving on now, we are moving on to our next movie, which is I, I'm guessing. Let's talk about. Let's leave the worst for last. No. 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 No, no, no movie is <laughs> the worst. Don't say that. I will say it. Okay. But, but let's no, do the flash. Let me go no, home and now. come back before we. <laughs> no. Oh. Let's talk about the flash. D He's come out with their latest uh, installment, and that is The Flash Movie. Everybody was excited, especially if you're a child who grew up in the 80s and 90s. The your Flash was your you. thing. Did you enjoy it? Have you have yeah. you seen it? Sorry, one second. Oh, you're back. Welcome. I'm back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about I The Flash? I always wanted to do that. Uh, so I actually, I had to appreciate the fact that they had their own version of the multiverse thing going mm -hmm. on, uh, you know, damaging the fabric of space-time. Mm -hmm space-time continuum, whatever you want to call that line that Desha did, I don't know. But um, a lot of people were of the opinion that the, the graphics were not up to par. The fact that we've seen so many speedsters, uh, the CGI here in this case, people were comparing it to the Silver Surfer, um, you know, and other, other speedsters in other movies, and they didn't feel like this was fast enough. Mm. Um, yeah, mm. and then it was just all about the lights and all about the shine and the re the red was too red. What was it all I about for you? That was a bit too much. What? What? You, okay, let me tell. Let me tell. <laughs> I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be nice. Be nice. I, there I were love, babies in the movie. Uh, uh, my, 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 there were babies in the movie. My best superhero will always be Spider Man. Yeah. So I always compare with Spider Man. Um, I, I can't uh, I, I can't run away from it, but I will have to also compare DC versus uh, um, uh, Marvel. Marvel. Mm -hmm. Now, so, in this so, case, so, before you go, let me just put something. Oh, now you want to say something? DC <laughs> versus Marvel. So it just seemed to me when I started watching this movie that Mar Marvel mm -hmm. created this movie to make fun of DC. Continue. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay, here, here, right, here we go. So this is what I think. I think um, the oversimplification of Marvel movies lately have become very bothersome. I don't really enjoy them because they seem a bit too goofy. Mm -hmm. However, now for DC and The Flash, they managed to still give you that amount of comedy without yeah. making it oversimplified, without making it goofy, without making it childish. So okay. that I appreciate. Okay. However, I do not appreciate the motions. I do not appreciate yeah. the CGI, which I yeah. like into AI. Mm -hmm. I think that most of it, I won't even call it CGI. It's like AI. It's like we're not finished with it yet. We're still oh, working wow. on it. Oh, wow. So that's what it seemed like to me. <laughs> so I didn't really like that part. Their definition of the butterfly effect uh, okay, and how it seemed, it. the visualization yeah. of it, mm -hmm. was not bad as well. I kind of like, liked it. The fact line, that they brought okay. back a former Batman. No, no, everybody had a cameo. Everybody. It was fantastic. Yeah, uh, so. uh, from Christopher Reeves to yeah. um, um, even Nicolas Cage was in yeah. there. Um, yeah. And uh, uh, who else there? Great. Of course, let's not forget the Batman himself, yeah. Michael Keaton. Of course. Mm -hmm. The Batman. Yeah. <laughs> that was <laughs> That's the first one. Great movie, mm. not bad. Now, let's talk about you, Titi. Me? Yeah. You mean Barbie? Exactly. Sure, I can. <laughs> In the royal family, someone yeah, yeah, says yeah. she liked to wear pink. Uh, anyhow, have you seen Barbie? Anyhow, now? I think that's the question. Uh, okay, so have I seen Barbie? Ask that question again. Have, have you seen Barbie? I tried, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I puked up. No, sprinkly, sprinkly, I don't believe sparkle, that. sparkly. sparkly. I, I, I don't believe that. <laughs> I couldn't. I don't believe that. I couldn't. I don't believe that. What? Where did you stop? Um, <laughs> ten minutes into it. That's no. why. So now, first of all, yeah. So I have this to say. So I think even me going to cinema to see it. I honestly expected less mm. from it, mm -hmm. right? I thought, okay, fine, it's Barbie, it's gonna be all, all of that and everything. But the movie was actually very, very That's strategic. Very good movie. The movie was made for a particular people and... Oh. Set of people. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and, and there is no... Actually, this is what I'm saying. There is no reason yeah. why... Or rather, it actually makes total sense why the PR had to be the way the PR yeah. was. Uh -huh. There were strong messages being passed on yes. feminism, <laughs> on um, patriarchy... On preference. On preferences, LGBTQI and all the alphabets, yeah. and all of that. So, yeah, yeah the day actually... They, they, there was a lot. I mean, depression was commercialized. Mm. Like, who does that? Mm. And so, so, with all of that, the thoughts... I mean, some, there were some laps here and there with some of the ideas that started from the beginning that probably didn't, had no business being at the end. And, yeah. But with all of that, it was, it's not a movie for kids, I will say that. Oh, okay. And all of that. It's also not a movie if you don't have a mind of your own. It's mm. not a movie for you either. So, well, yeah. anyhow, if you want a colorful experience, <sighs> watch Barbie. All right. <laughs>
In any case, uh, here to add a dose of testosterone to your pink nails and your pink dress. It was grand in any case. I'm going to try finish it and everything. Maybe you guys should tell us what you thought about all the movies that we've talked about here today. Use the hashtag Wake Up Niger on TVC. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more inside of Wake Up Niger. Uh -huh.